Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, Handy Andy On Demand, and we are out with JP today in, in East Cobb and Marietta, going over his house, and he's been over here for probably about 18 years now. And so we're probably going to do this one in stages. So the first part of this thing, this is masonite siding, which is basically seven layers of cardboard. And so the chimney's just shot out. At this point, we just need to replace all of it. Uh, so that's probably the first phase of this project, is we'll go ahead and give him a price to just change all the siding and the corner boards on, the, on that chimney. Um, you can see here like that hole right there above this left garage door. He's actually got a little mini woodpecker living in there um, Most of the siding here is in pretty decent shape But when you come up the first row above that garage door, we'll replace that and then we're gonna replace about 16 rows or so It might even be 20 rows on this left side um, It's all in pretty bad shape. And so if we'd caught it a couple years ago, he'd still be okay. Um, there's a number of repairs as we'll bounce around. He's got a little bit of siding on this left side right here of the garage door that we'll repair. And then you can see the framing is is rotted right here. So the guys will come in, they'll do a weather cut, they'll re they'll go up to where they need to to get to, to good wood again uh, and piece that in on both sides of the garage door, left and right. And then the right garage door, he's got that same piece on the left right here. A lot of the damages that we see on houses are connected dots and we're going to show that to you in a second. On the right side past the chimney, he's got about six rows right around this water spigot that we'll replace. Uh, we'll go ahead and replace it. This is a masonite siding. We'll replace it with smooth and beaded uh, James Hardy Hardy plank. You know, and it's funny because when he first bought the house, they hand painted it. So he paid all that money for hand paint and they never caulked the nail heads. So that's where the siding is, is delaminating, is rotting is right there. You can see the brush strokes in it. Um, so we'll come back with the same color. Uh, and you can see why. So when you look at the bottom edge of your siding, see how swelled up it is in here? Most of it going up this way is all salvageable, but the chimney siding is just totally shot out. Where we say connect the dots is you'll see some streaking on his right rear siding here in a little bit. If you look at the left corner, see that downspout? This downspout is completely clogged. Fortunately for him, all of his siding back here, if we hand paint this again, he'll save all this siding. And to place siding in a house like this is about 30 grand. Um, on his deck, we've got some deck repairs and we'll figure it out. We're gonna skin it first and see how much of this joist under here can be repaired. Um, I hate to, to tear this wood down because this is old growth pressure treated. I can't buy this stuff anymore, it's like gold. This stuff was treated with arsenic, it'll last a lifetime. The problem he had is he decided to listen to the good boys at the big box hardware store and they told him that deck RX type material, um, deck resurfacer, deck refinisher, was a great product for his deck. And you've seen this in my other videos. If you watch our channel, you can use that stuff if you're selling your house. But if after that, the wood can't breathe anymore, it'll dry rot. So all this wood up here, it's rotted through. And he only put this on here a couple years ago. Back at the back rear corner of the house, you can see he's had somebody repair this fascia before. It's because that downspot is clogged. See the streaking on his siding? So now what's happening is the water's actually going behind the gutter, into that soffit and coming down the siding. And same thing here in this corner. See the streaking on that soffit right there? And underneath all the mold and mildew under there? It's all from that gutter. So we'll clear that out for him. The siding's all in pretty good shape. He's got a few rows back here. He's got a door back here that we're probably the only company in, in Metro Atlanta that can fix that door. Can't buy this door anymore. It's like a 20-inch door. So see the rot down here? My brother hates me because we'll stick him on this job. The threshold is rotted too. And then somebody made a horizontal repair in this right corner of the frame and that brick mold and we'll fix that out all the siding to the right side is rotted out and you'll actually see it you won't see it right at the moment here probably but he's got bees living in this little corner right here in that corner board there's a little pinhole up in that left corner and that's where they are that whole piece is rotted out so they've made a nest inside that wall cavity so we'll replace that corner board because the caulking failed on this side nobody did anything about it He's got three rows to the left of this rear window, and then all this bottom siding at the right rear kitchen eat-in will need to be replaced. He's got three or four rows right underneath this kitchen window that we'll replace as well. But as far as I know, we're the only company in, in Metro Atlanta that can fix rotted wooden doors and, and window sashes with real wood. Uh, if you watch some of our other videos, we just finished one last week, two of them actually, in uh, Town Lake. And uh, both of those customers are told they had to replace all their windows. The key on siding is just kind of stand at an angle and look at your edges and see how nice and tight those bottom edges of the siding are. 
So his back siding's in good shape. People will say, well, what's that wave right there? That's not the siding, that's the framing. So yeah, there's a wave in the back wall. It's not frame square. And one of the things we would need to do on this little roofing section on the left and right sides, he needs some drip guard under there and that bottom edge of roofing sealed. Every time it rains, a little bit of water's getting under and that's what cooked this side right here. See the corner board? And the little woodpeckers came because there's insects in there. So we'll repair that corner board. And over here, he's got from the bottom row here up to where you're gonna see a little split up here on the side. See a little dip in the siding right there? He's got about, I think 16 or 25 rows on this side that need to be replaced. So the left and right and fronts are kind of your worst, but he'll still save a lot of the siding. He's got right here, a little woodpeckers living in here right now. Um, he's been sticking his head out, telling me to get lost. And then on the front of the house, as we come around, he's got a lot of work on the trim. Each of these bay windows, when they did these roofs, they never did them right. And so you can see a dip in this roof right here. We'll tear these shingles off on both sides of these, re-deck them and re-shingle them and flash them properly. Because there's no flashing right here, just two boards above that left corner, you start to see the rot in the siding. So all the, the siding to the left of this bay window needs to be replaced. All the siding on the bay window, you're not going to see it in the, in the video, but this left window here on the bay, the sill needs to be replaced. Um, the center window, the left and right brick molds need repairs, and the right window has the same issue with brick molds. But all that siding will be replaced. And then in the, the middle section here, everything to the left and right of this front door up to the top of the door line needs to be replaced. And then everything from the door line up to the first row underneath these windows across the front of the house needs to be replaced. So he'll save his, his upper siding. And he can do this stuff in stages. He don't have to come right out and do it. On one of these windows, I think it's this one over here. Uh, we'll see him come in here in a minute. There's a little hole at the right corner of that bay window, that left window. It's hard to see it. And I, I can't really focus in on it, so I apologize for that. Uh, but there's bees living in that corner too. So he's got three or four bees nests on this house. The bottom corner boards here on this bay window, we'll rework those. Someone did awful job repairing that with horizontal cuts. Same with that bay window. You see that horizontal cut? It's just trapping water and causing more rot. These little pieces, these shim pieces underneath the nose is just where someone made a repair that was wrong years ago. And so our carpenters will fix that. He's doing enough work with us that we'll have our gutter guys come out. This gutter, you'll see a hole in the bottom of it somewhere up here. That whole gutter across the front needs to be replaced. And it should probably be rigged to drain to the left and right. You know, it's carrying 40 foot of water across that thing. Uh, so it'd probably be a good idea to just add another downspout. So hoping you can see those bees, but um, you can kind of get a feel for the way someone made the repair. See that horizontal cut? And you can see the swelling and all the siding right here. And then he's got the same thing here. Because there was no flashing up at this corner of the window, all this siding down at the right side is just rotted through. You can put your finger through it. So we'll get them in pretty good shape. Um, the, the front deck here, we're not coming up with a price for him on that right now, but he did the same thing out here. All these treads need to be replaced. The framing's good, he just needs new treads. So, hard to believe my brother and I have been out here for 26 years now. It's me, my brother, and a crew of 30 guys running all over the place doing everything. Sometimes I'm in that truck, a lot of times now I've got a driver and we're running around doing bids all over Metro Atlanta. So you can reach us at 770-912-2829. Uh, sometimes you can catch me personally at 770-265-9017. You know, people always ask about trying to find contractors, and it's hard, especially in Metro Atlanta. Um, a lot of people sound good. Look for guys that have been in business for at least five years. They've got a website. They've got a business card. They come out with labeled shirts. They drive a vehicle that, you know, like this one is decaled. Um, and make sure they take credit cards. If you're just starting a relationship with them, if they don't take credit cards, they're financially weak. And uh, right now... Probably third, third of the jobs that we do, people have paid a deposit and the contractor took off with the money. So when you use your credit card, you're protected. At any rate, that is Mr. JP's house. We'll see you at the next house. <laughs> Bye for now.